Welcome everyone to All Miniatures Great and Small. I have my colleague here, Mr. What is your name? Dad, do you? No, okay. <laughs> Mr. Dad. Today we are playing Black Seas. We are playing Black Seas. We haven't played in a year. Probably. At least <laughs> a, yeah. A long yeah. time. We had to dust off the ships a little bit. Yeah. And last, I believe we left, is I lit most of your ships on fire. Uh, no, no spoiler alerts. <laughs> Go check out our previous Black It was a year Black ago. Seals content. <laughs> so we're going to be playing Black Seas uh, from Warlord Games. Black Seas is, um, I like to think of it as a guilty pleasure game. We don't get to play it often, but every time we play it, we have, usually have a blast. Yeah. And uh, ships are destroyed and set on fire and explosions. Everyone's and crashing death. into stuff. And <laughs> uh, but it's a fun game. The models are great. The... Uh, the presentation on the table, it always looks really cool. Uh, so, yeah, it's always exciting to play, and like we don't get to play it often enough. Uh, but the, And the rules are fun, so we like it. All right, so we're coming at you today with a 1,300-point, or approximately, uh, battle. It's going to be the British. Jake's taking the British. I'm going to be taking the French. Yep. And uh, today, why don't you go over your fleet first? Sure. What do you bring? Um, so I have two brigs. Two, um, no, yep. fifth rates, fifth rate two, rates. or one third rate, and one first rate, um, which is exactly what you have too. So mm -hmm. this is kind of a mirrored match, except for the fact that our first rates are very different. Because um, I'm using the HMS Victory to crush you. Um, the HMS Victory's um, special ability is within 20 inches of it, you get, everyone gets a plus one to their skill rolls, right? Yep. Okay, yep. cool. Um, and that's it. There's no, we didn't add any special characters, no Nelson, nothing like that. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much my force. Okay. And then the French are bringing uh, essentially the same thing. Two brigs, two frigates, one large third rate. And then I'm bringing the 120 gun Le Orient. Yep. Or at least that's, I don't know how you pronounce it. French people, please correct me in the comments. Uh, but it is... Um, uh, famous for being spectacularly exploded in the Battle of the Nile. So it is a, a cool ship. Uh, it ha also has special rules like yours. It has a very cool rule, but it's also counteracted by a very bad rule. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the cool rule is um, it gets a plus one to its shooting when it's shooting at British ships, which fortunately you're a British ship. I am British. Um, and when I try to put out a fire, if I roll a one on my skill test, it explodes. It just... Which is awesome. What happens if you normally roll a one on a skill test? You just fire? don't put out the fire. Huh. Yeah. So, so I'll be putting out... I, I just won't be putting out fires. Yeah. You'll just be exploding. Right, right. <laughs> well, you, one way or another, that fire's going out eventually. <laughs> so that's it. Um, and we're not playing with the national rules because we find the national rules are a little... They're very cool and they're flavorful, but they're a little unbalanced point-wise. Yeah. And I'm not sure how... You know, and maybe... In the year or two that this game has been out, they've addressed that, uh, but I haven't looked at any... In a tournament any situation, game. it would seem very unfair. Yeah. And everyone would probably play pretty so. And I know they say <laughs> that uh, the named ships are also uh, could present point problems, but since we both have a named ship, that they both cost exactly the same amount of points, I figure it's pretty cool. Yeah. Plus, yeah, we want to play with named ships. For sure. You got the cool model, let's go ahead and... and play with it. We worked hard putting all of these little rigging strings on all these dumb ships. We did. That was the worst rigging part. Was, rigging was... But it makes it look so much better. <laughs> well, you know, rigging and hobby-wise, I find looking at it and knowing that you have to do it for all of these ships can be quite daunting. But once you get in the groove, I found it a little relaxing. It's kind of nice. It's yeah. like, okay. One ship takes like all day, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got it down faster, but yeah, it's pretty good. All right, and then uh, I just wanted to mention, too, something we're rolling out or have rolled out recently is uh, memberships on YouTube. Uh, memberships allow folks uh, to support the channel and, you know, show us that what kind of games they want to see. We already have a Patreon, but Patreon's kind of exclusively for Flames of War, and we do our, our exclusive uh, battle report over there on the Patreon for Flames of War. But we cover a lot more than just Flames of War on the channel. And the YouTube memberships are a great way for um, the viewer to be able to support the channel. So check that out, membership down below. You'll get early access to our content as well as cool badges and emojis and all that good stuff. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, set up for the battle and 
A return to the high seas with black seas from Warlord Games. All right, the mission is kill pitched sea battle. Mm. Yeah, pr pretty much kill. <laughs> um, we're playing on a four by six table. We have you deploying on that side, me deploying on this long table edge. We haven't rolled for wind, so are you ready for this? Yes. Okay, so um, I guess uh, one through five, it's going to be blowing this way. On a six through ten, it's going to be blowing that way. All right. You ready? Yep. So it's going to be blowing down this way. So um, you want to go over your deployment? Sure. Okay. Um, I have the victory. The victory is Out leading front. the fleet. Okay. Yep. Um, like any brave hero should. Okay. We have uh, Briggs in front of the frigates. Not uh, frigates. Fifth rates. That's what they are. Okay. Um, yeah, they're frigates. Oh, they are. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So Briggs in front of them, and then we have my third rate behind my first. Okay. And then over there, same thing. Same thing. Okay. Over here, Jake kind of copied me in deployment. I went first in deployment. <laughs> Except I put my third rate out front, then Leorient. So any flaming ships will hopefully crash into that one and screen this guy a little bit. But over there, I have a frigate and brig, frigate and brig, but I've got my frigates out in front. Aha! Uh -huh. So basically, it's the opposite of everything that happened on my side. Yeah, it's the opposite of everything you stand for. All right. I stand for. Uh, okay. So are you ready? Yep. All right. We're going to start with turn one. Now this is the scenario we're playing. So the victory is the game lasts 15 turns or until one fleet has half the number of its ships sunk or surrendered. So that would be three. Uh, and then calculate victory points as follows. For each damaged ship, uh, less than half hit points. Unrated one, four through six rate two, third rates three, first rates five points. For each ship disabled or sunk, double the score. The Winning the game, the player with the most victory points is the winner. Okay. Cool. So I guess I could like blow up the victory and you could sink my two brigs and a frigate and I would probably still win but you would have ended the game because you sank three of my ships. Gotcha. At least that's how I interpret that. Alright, so there you go. Now we're going to start. Roll for wind direction. So this is the wind direction chart. Really things only change if we roll a 2, 3, 11, or 12. Okay. <laughs> okay, 5, so no change and then uh, so now we're going to determine the weather gauge order so that's the order that the ships activate in and then we'll uh, we'll get going cool my first activations are done the frigate and brig have moved out just they stayed at battle sails so and then they went 10 inches total um, but they're just going forward we're kind of jockeying for position right now see where things end up so because they're the furthest upwind they got to move first so now your little Battle line gets to move next. You went battle speed with those guys, battle sails? Yes. Okay. So, tit for tat. Yep. Cheerio and pip pip and all that stuff that they might have said in this time period. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next up. So, because these guys are actually identically lined up, we just did that on purpose when we set up. In this case, we just roll off randomly because we're all, in essence, the same skill crew. So, um... Actually, let me double check something. Maybe our named cruise ships have better crews. I can't remember if that's a rule or I'm just making it up because it sounds good. All right. So we diced off. Jake moved his column first. Yes. And basically, we realized these ships have different speeds. But the way we're playing it, and I think it's a, it's a good way to do it, is as long as they're in line like that, they can maintain the speed. They can maintain the same speed. Otherwise, all your ships would be going everywhere. But then, once they once the line breaks up, it's then, it's, then it's all over. Okay, so you move first. You are within twenty inches of my third rate, so the victory is going to fire. It has two heavy guns, four. Mm -hmm. Now, normally in this game, you have to roll five or under to get a hit. But there are some modifiers. First modifier is um, you are firing more than ten inches away, so it's minus two. The second modifier is you're at full sails, so that's another minus two. But you get a plus one because I am a large or extra large ship. So all said and done, you're looking for a one or two to hit. Yep. Okay, let's see it. Easy, right here. Easy peasy. We hit you once. Okay. Oh, sorry. No, 
Everyone's hey. Oh. <laughs> That you do two points of damage to my third ray, but no critical. You have to roll a natural one on the first female. blow. All right, first blood. Yep, you started it. Yep. Let the history books know the British. I mean, we started. were both in an attacking position, so. <laughs> hey, I was just coming to share my cheese and wine with you. Uh huh. Sure. This, this betrayal. Anyway, I moved. I stayed at battle sales, and I moved up. So I'm going to need a five or less to hit you. Uh, plus one because you're large. That's a six. Minus two because. We're still more than 10 inches away. Yep. So that drops it down to a four. But my third rate only has one heavy cannon forward, so let's see if we can do something here. No, we missed. Okay, so with that, you're activating those guys next. Correct. All right, so Jake's basically your third squadron has moved battle, or no, full sails. Full sails. So, uh, in essence, you've 15 inches for those guys. Yeah, because I figured they're already downwind enough, so yeah. with the wind blowing this way, I needed a head start into the battle. All right, so with that, um, that's all your ship's gone. They don't have any shooting, so I need to move these guys, and that's the end of the turn. Yep. With that, my, my ships are done as well, so I need to put a few tokens by them. Not that important this part of the game, but good habit to get into just to let us know everything's activated. The smoke, which I like adds to the visual of the game, uh, denotes that that ship has fired its forward batteries, just so once everything gets kind of mixed in together, it's uh, it gets confusing as far as which ship has fired sometimes, so that helps as well, and it looks really cool. I know some guys make these with little LEDs in them, so that they, they like, flash. That's cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, okay, so there we go. That's turn one down. You've done two points of damage. To the uh, French, basically declared war, and uh, we're going to go into turn two. Two uh, roll for wind. You ready for this? Uh, I'm ready. It's about to change. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it oh, changed. It changed. <laughs> oh, let's let's find out what it is. Right. Which direction it goes? Could, this could be bad for one of us. Okay. Two, uh, two which you rolled, and a twelve. Two is becalmed. It doesn't change the direction of the wind, but minus two to all of our ship's movement. So that means the Victory and the Laorian are only moving one inch per activation. That's so slow. That's so slow. So it's becalmed. If you would have rolled a 12, you would have had a wind swell. Yeah. And we'd be going faster, but okay. So how long does that stay for? Just for one turn. Oh, okay. So, and the wind is still blowing this way, so I'm activating these guys first. Frigate is going to fire at your brig, first guy in line. You ready for this? Yep. He just has one light gun that's a red die. Uh, after the, all the modifiers are said and done, I need a three or lower. No. And I'll put some smoke on that, or if you don't mind, sir, to let you know my frigate has gone. And then you get to activate those guys next. So uh, Jake's brig activated, and it's going to do something. It's going to shoot you. Okay. So that's its final position, moving at full sails. Yep. But before it gets there, it's actually going to fire as she bears at my frigate, which is the ship in the front of my line. Yep. Um, normally, I'm hit on five. Three, because uh, you have full sails. And one, because you are firing as she bears. Do you ever get bonuses to those numbers at all? Yep, yeah, when you're point blank range. Oh, what's point blank? If you're a veteran crew, uh, like three inches or something like that. All right, so you're going to throw two blue dice and one red die. The red die is your bonus for first time broadside. Okay. Right, and you're looking for ones. It's different. So, you, no, no, there. Okay. All right, all ones. All ones. You ready? No. No. I got it too. So, this would. I don't like about this game design is the chance of getting a critical increases. Like the, you're shooting so badly that you could only ever if I hit do you, criticals. It's going to be fantastic. <laughs> yeah, which it seems kind of odd. But yeah. that's when they tie it all into one die roll instead of making the critical a separate roll. Okay, but uh, so that's where that guy ends up. And uh, oh, I got some smoke right here for him. Then your frigate's basically just following him still, and we already measured this out before. And he's going to be firing on my frigate. When all but is said and done, you're going to be rolling four, or sorry, three heavy dice to uh, 
light cannons and one carronade. Carronade range is eight inches. You are within eight inches. So you're looking for again, what do we say, threes? Yes. Okay, let's see it. Threes are lower. I missed. I got, got one critical. And I think the light cannon does one damage, but we get to roll on the critical table. Uh, Yay. Six for the critical hit. All right. Let's see what you get. Is an explodes option on here? No. Oh, six. six. Fire on board. Woohoo! But now we just need to do that to the... the, the so uh, the shot has sparked a fire on board. Place a piece of fiery cotton wool on the damaged ship to represent it now being ablaze. See ships on fire on page 26 for effects for this critical damage. Uh, now that uh, you put the fire on my ship, roll a d6 for an extra d6 damage because of the fire. Oh, great. Three. Three more damage, so four damage total. Next up, we're going to roll off to see which one of these has to go first. All right, the victory has moved, and as it moves, it's going to fire as she bears on my third rate. I went to whopping two inches. <laughs> two inches with becalmed. Yeah, these, yeah. these first rates don't move very fast when the, the ocean is becalmed. You went battle sails with the victory, so all uh, said and told, you're going to need uh, two, one or two to, to uh, do some damage. you got two heavy cannons firing, though. You ready for me to start another fire? Uh, please not. <laughs> We hit you. You got one critical. With a critical. <laughs> All right, roll a d6. Let's see what the critical is. Come on, six. Right, roll a six, please. Two. Two, okay. So that does, uh, I believe, three points of damage? Two points of damage. Two okay. points of damage. Two. And then uh, we'll see what number two is on the critical hit chart. So the third rate's going to fire at my third rate. Long range. Um, so base five. That goes down to three. Back up to four because I'm big. You don't have to fire she bears in this shot, so I think you just need fours. Yep. One heavy cannon. Ten. Yep. Yep. Okay. So now these guys get to go. All right, so my uh, line is just going to uh, go steady forward. They're not going to shoot because you knocked out my front guns for at least a turn. So now this uh, squadron is going to activate next. All right, Jake Sprig ends up here. Is that uh, battle sails or full sails? Full sails. Okay. He's the little brig that could. All right, so he's going to fire two broadsides. So you lose your first time broadside bonus, but it wasn't you're right. willing to do it. Yeah. <laughs> so over here, um, you're going to hit me on a five or lower. It goes up to six because I'm big. And then it drops down to four because you are going full sails. Yep. Okay. So two heavy cannon into my third rate. Here we go. For here to here. Yep. Okay, let's see it. Ah. Two misses. Stupid sense. And then over here, you're firing at my frigate. So base five, that's going to drop down to a three because um, of your full sails. Yep. So let's see some. Yay. Two hits. So that's four damage on my frigate. And uh, he is done. Right, your frigate is in the process of turning. That's at the end of his second move? Yes. He's going battle sails. Yeah, no, he's going full, full sails. Full sails, sorry, full sails. So he's got one more move to make, but is he going to turn at the end of the, the second one, or is he no. moving three inches? He's moving three, and then he's going to turn. Gotcha. Okay, so he's going to fire here. There's no fire she bears penalty, but there is a uh, full sails penalty, so the five drops to a three. But you got a lot of dice with your first time firing bonus. Yep. shooting all these. Okay, let's see it. So we got only got one hit. One heavy cannon hit. So that's two. Oh, wait. I got this one, too, right? Because it's one, Threes, two, three. yeah. So you got four damage. Okay. Okay. And then you can finish the movement there. All right. So we're backing up just a minute. When he was back three inches. So you need to finish his turn. So Because he hasn't finished moving. So why don't you move him to his final position? Then we'll roll the, the die. The fan is blowing the, the smoke everywhere. And then when you were back there, we're doing it out of order. You would have had a shot at uh, this guy. Yep. It'd just be one light die. You need a... Uh, six, right? Six. Well, no, you're at full sail, so it'd be a four. Four. Four or less. All right, here we go. Start a fire. No. Uh, dang it. <laughs> okay, so those two are now done. So on to, this is the last quadrant of the turn. All right, so I am in the second move of my three moves. I went uh, full sails. Yep. 
So I'm going to be firing everything at your frigate. Um, so I'm going to use my first time bonus. Normally you're hitting on fives. It's going to drop down to threes because of my full sails. Yes. <sighs> this is your first real shot of the game. It is. So let's see what I can do. Nothing. Ah. Apparently. Okay. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, that fr uh, ship has to move one more time. Frig, or sorry, this brig, as it's uh, moving, is going to fire as she bears at your frigate. Right. First time shooting bonus. Uh, normally you're hit on fives. It's going to be threes. It's going to be ones. I'm farming for ones. Ready for this? Yes. So close. Okay, nothing. So the Wait, French. Wouldn't it be twos? No. Oh. So minus two for full sails, minus two for fire she bears. Oh, that's right. Yeah. All right, and with that, that's the end of turn two. This next turn is going to be interesting. To yes. say the least. Hopefully it'll be bloody. Uh, I've been it's... messing you up, though. I've done accumulatively 8, 16 damage to you. You have. And I've so. taken nothing. Well, we'll see what happens. And there's a fire. Next, there's a fire. <laughs> okay, on to turn two. Three. I'm going to roll for wind direction. No, no wind direction. Activate my frigate first. Uh, let's try to put out that fire, shall we? No, we don't. Okay. So, um, I'm going to go battle sails with the frigate. Okay, now, to clarify, my skill test, I needed a five or six to um, extinguish the fire. So, since I didn't, though, I take another d6 damage. So, let's see it. Five damage. Oh okay, God. nice. Uh, those, uh, he's going to go battle sails. So we'll see if we can extract some revenge here. Ready for this? Yep. As my beautiful ship is on fire, it sails past your stern. It fires as she bears, raking fire at point blank range. So normally you're hit on fives. It goes up to seven because of the point blank range. It goes back down to five because I have to do a fire as she bears. So um, I'm going to be firing my first time broadside. You ready for this? I need to get some hits. I'm due. You should. It's 50-50 shot. It's triple damage. Yeah. So he each heavy Heck, cannon... You could just kill me pretty easily. <laughs> well, you got 36 hull points. That's going to be hard. But let's see what we can do. Ready for this? Hiya! Okay. So we missed with the light guns. <laughs> Dang it. So these are all two points each. So that's six. So that's going to be 18. And then I forget how much damage the carronade does. Uh, that frigate takes, sorry Jake, 27 damage. I'm on the scoreboard. Yeah, kill me what you got close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you might strike your colors because you're under your, your morale value. Um, and you're definitely at, at uh, the crippled state, so you're going to be sh not shooting as well. But uh, I need to activate this guy next. Next up, my brig it moved once, once and is firing at your frigate. And then it's got one more move. It's moving at battle sails. So I'm going to need fives to hit you. It's my first time broadside for him. So I get a bonus red die. Um, the two hit value is just going to be five because <coughs> the uh, I'm not at short range. I'm not firing with two bears. No penalties. No bonuses. So here we go. Oh, yeah. Hey. So I do four more damage and a critical. So let's see what the critical is. A four. I don't know what a four is. <laughs> so, funny, the, the brig delivers the coup de grace and really causes your ship to surrender. The way it, it works. It's the perfect critical you need. <laughs> it was the perfect critical. So the crew hit means that you automatically fail your next skill test. Yep. So as soon as you drop below your uh, morale value, you take a morale test. And the morale test is a skill test. You pass it on a five or six, but you automatically fail, so which means you fail your morale test, so you automatically surrender. You strike your colors. You're going at full speed, so you're just going to have to remember next turn. It's this turn you have to go down to battle. Turn after that, you have to go to light sails until you stop and you anchor. Cool. And you're, uh, you, you've surrendered, so you're down. If you lose two more ships, the game is over. If right. I lose three. So he's done. You don't need to do anything with him. Well, he 
Because he's part of the squadron still. Yeah, so he m- moves and does his turn, and then he moves his it, two forward. Yeah, but then he's going to be broken out of that formation. Yeah. So that's the way we're going to play it. Correct us if we're wrong down in the comments. Which I'm pretty sure really, really sucks for me, because that just so happenly like might put him directly in front of this ship, which is what I plan not to do. No, no. So, uh, we'll see. Okay. Well, for now, though, you're, you're moving your brig next. Yeah. Okay, so the brig, uh, and that's the second move, right? You're going battle sails? Yeah. Okay, so no penalty for that. Um, you're going to hit me on sixes because of uh, you had to do fire sheet bears. Yeah. And I should go past. All right, so let's see it. Uh, one I've got hit. one hit, so it's... Four damage, right? No, because it's a front rake, it's just plus one to the damage. Oh, so it's three damage total. Three damage total, yeah. All right, so Jake's frigate had to move battle because it had to drop one speed. It's so ridiculous what just happened. So you set my ship on like this death path, basically. Yeah. You move, so he went straight ten inches, smashes into you. You fail your skill check. I passed my skill check on a six because apparently yeah. I'm skillful enough to evade hitting you, avoid the collision, but yeah. not to just surrender. <laughs> it's very so, weird. Well, you only failed your first one, so. Your second one, you actually passed. That makes no sense. <laughs> so there's no collision. You stop short of my ship because you can't clear it. And uh, I feel like I should be auto-failing crew checks. Then we <laughs> activate. I surrendered. Um, so you're going to activate the victory next. Ooh, let's see if she can do anything. Victory is going to be firing at the Le Orient. Yes, sir. Okay. So normally I'm hit on a 5-6 because I'm extra large. It's going to drop down to a... Wait, wasn't Le Orient the flagship? Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Well, he's still large. Yeah, he's just uh, no-named. He's, he's just my third rate. You are correct. Uh, so, anyway, so six base, and then that's it. You Oh, no, because I'm partially obscured. Yeah. You're seeing less than half of me, so it drops it down to a four. Here we go. Lots of shots, though. So this is the basic salvo. <laughs> yeah, this is the base victory. Four heavy, four light, and three carronades. Yep. And then you're also going to get your first time firing bonus. Correct. All right. Which I have it. to roll separately because we don't have enough dice. We don't have enough dice. <laughs> um, we got a two. I'll take away the misses, which is a lot of them. There's a six and a six. Yeah, that uh. But you got a critical. The so uh, fives and sixes really ruined me there. There was like four of them in there. Okay, so now you get two more heavy, one light, one carronade. So go ahead and add that. So two blue, one red, one black. Two blue, one red, one black. Okay. So this is your bonus for first time firing. Yes. Skip. Which I missed everything. Okay. Wow, that was a terrible showing for that initial shot. Uh, we got a critical, so go ahead and roll a d6. Uh, yes. Yeah. Here we go. Light him on fire. No. And then we've got three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine. So nine damage to my third rate. And I'll look up what the critical number one is. All right. All right, Jake, so that was a quarter deck hit. I can't, uh, I have to make a skill test in order to turn or change my sails. Okay. You ready for this? I need a five up. Are you rolling that right now? Yep. Because I got to know if I can actually turn. Hey, I can. Okay. So really, that doesn't do anything to me because I passed the skill test. So your third rate uh, just went light sails, right? Uh, correct. Okay, so it moved forward four inches, and it's going to fire two broadsides. It's got a shot over here at this frigate, and it's got a shot over here at that frigate. Uh, you're just out of carronade range, uh, but you still have a lot of shots. Yeah, so normally decent. you're hit on f- I'm hit on fives, and I don't think there's going to be any other modifiers. Yeah. Uh, because I did not... They moved more than 10 last turn because they're at full sails. So they're going to be at minus... Does he count as a small ship? No, he's a medium ship. Oh, so then he doesn't get that bonus, right? No, he gets a bonus. Oh, oh, it's if you move more, moves than more than 10 inches. Uh, but I forget if it's minus 1 or minus 2. But we know he's going to be straight up 5, so go ahead and roll right. his attack. Straight up 5s. Which we missed these two. So you do... Five damage, damage plus a critical. Let's see what the critical is. Come on, something cool. Uh, that was the crew? That was the one you did to him. Uh, I'll double check. Yeah, I think it's crew. Crew hit tokens the same that you had on yours. I'm going to auto-fail my next uh, uh, skill test that I need. Like that. 
fire. Which is going to be putting that fire out. I wish that fire would just blow you up or something. <laughs> well, it could. Um, if I don't take the bonus, like I still want to shoot, and if I roll a one on my repair, then it blows up. Oh, so sh- it could. What did you roll last time? Like a four. Oh. I did not blow roll the blow up. Okay, so smoke up your ship. Mark that it's activated, then... These guys well, go next. next. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. So that one is, because they move more than 10 inches, um, it's one harder to hit them. So you need fours yep. to hit him. And, uh, two hits. So you got two light gun hits. So it's two damage, but you got a critical. Here we go. Two. two. Okay. I don't remember what that was. Uh, <laughs> I'm firing. Uh, or wait, do I want to do the same thing to you? You have to get like just over 30 damage. <laughs> so I could give up my bo- first time sh- bonus shooting and shoot this guy too? Oh, yeah, do that. Um, which, no, but these are double damage because it's yeah. so close. So, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to dump everything into your third rate. So this is uh, the third rate's fire, and this is the bonus for the first time it's shooting. You ready for this? Yep. This is the highest uh, two hit value we've ever had. Base five, six because you are big, and then plus two because of uh, point blank range. So you ready for this? Yep. Okay, well we know tens miss, but the eights hit. Okay, so we've got um, eight damage, so that's 16. Just count it normally first and then. Okay, so that's eight, that's six more. So that's 14, 15, 16. Then we double that. 16 is 32. So 32 damage. Ouch. Okay, so um, that's about the best I could do with the Lay Orient. Uh, it's gonna do a fire as she bears. This is where she ends up. But a fire as she bears at your brig here. You ready for that? <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. So this is the, the normal guns right here. Yep. Um, normally you're hit on fives. That goes down to four because you're tiny. And then it's going to go to two because you are... Um, I'm firing as she bears. And I went full sails. You, those guys went full sails last turn? Correct. So they went more than... The, uh, this guy didn't because... Oh, no, he did also. Yeah, so, so both. They both have to. Okay. So then I'm just looking for ones. All right, here we go. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So I've got a couple, and then my first time firing bonus is going to be two blue, a red, and a black. Let's see if I can get any more ones. Dang it. No, okay. Four ones? Are you kidding me? <laughs> so let's just uh, two, three, four, five damage, but we did get a critical hit. Oh, you only roll one die? Yeah. Oh. Well, then that's not nearly good. Five. Five was extra damage. Yep. Uh, so it's D3 extra damage. So we do three more. Right. But actually it is one critical hit per uh, one. So I need three more criticals. So it's a two, a four, and a one. Good. All different things. All different <laughs> things. This is what I'm talking about with, all, I can only hit you with ones, but I do all of that critical damage. Which, yeah, you basically just... Which I don't like. I don't know. It's not like you killed that ship, but he can't do absolutely anything his next turn. Well, because of the, the type of things, like with the quarter deck, you can't turn or uh, change your sails unless you pass a skill test. But with the crew hit, you can't pass your screw, uh, crew test. And with the gun hit, a brig is so small that means you can't fire that, that broadside. So He can literally do nothing. <laughs> he can literally, yeah. Well, he can move. Uh, he's going to end up over here somewhere if he fails his skill test. Oh no, which he does, so he's gonna be like 15. Can't lower my sail at all either. 15, right? no. Yeah, so <laughs> weirdly enough, he he's, didn't take that much damage, but all the important people died. <laughs> yeah, he took eight damage, was it, uh, all said and told. But then, uh, so the Laorient is done, and I mean, I guess I could fire my two heavy cannon into this, this jerk. No, I can't because I fired my bonus. Oh no, bonus is just for broadsides, so I can. Two heavy cannon. Five base, four because you're small. Um, I don't have to fire as she bears, so just fours. Did he move more than ten? Was, was he no. full? He was moved at battle. Ten. Okay. 
So I got one one critical. Yay. So that's, that's two damage. It goes to four damage because we are within three. Of course. And the critical is a five, which is... Uh, extra damage. Extra damage. D3. So one more. So five damage to him. All right. So Larian's done. So I guess the next guys are these guys. Frigate's going battle sails. He swings around and is going to fire at the Lay Orient. He's hoping for a fire that makes me explode. It's really my only hope to win the game at this point. <laughs> so, so, all right. Let's also, see we were. It's worth mentioning, but we forgot. Um, Lay Orient's special rule is you get plus one to hit with your guns, and we didn't Which, use it. Not like it really mattered, yeah, it but matter. just in the future, we're thinking. I needed that. ones to hit you. It goes to twos. <laughs> you yeah, rolled so many ones. That it it's doesn't really like, matter. All right. Here we go. I hit you all the times. Okay, yep, because you needed sixes, yep. but no ones. No ones, unfortunately. So you got, uh, you're not within three. three. four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight damage, okay. Leorian takes its first hit of the game. It only has 112 hull points left. Good job. <laughs> Can I trade all of this for one one? <laughs> no, it was one critical. Okay, so uh, eight damage there, okay. Oh, and sorry, as uh, you were moving out there... Yeah, it was really five inches back here, and he was lined up with that brig perfectly, so we'll shoot that shot. So normally, uh, five's four is because I'm tiny, so and, no other modifier. Uh, oh, no, they... she bears. Oh, that was? That wasn't yeah, at the I end started, of your first move? I started my move lined up with you. Oh, okay. I only moved gotcha. once. Yeah. You've only moved once? Yeah. So he's going slow? Uh, he Well, he has to go one more move after. Okay, so he's going battle to shoot you. Gotcha. So fire issue bears are there. Yeah. So the four goes to a two. Nice. Ooh, yeah. Three criticals. There are my stupid You're doing ones. The same. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I guess. So you do f f uh, four damage. No, five damage, and then this three is criticals. Literally the exact same thing that happened to me. I know. First one. Uh, that's D three damage. Yeah, so, so D three damage. damage. Three. So three more. So he's up to eight. Okay, that sounds familiar. Second critical. That's. I forget, what, I that forget one is. what that one is. Yeah, and then the last one is the D3 damage, D3 damage again. Damage. Okay, so eight plus three, so <laughs> nine and eleven. Eleven damage, and then a one, right? If you roll a and one. then a one. Okay. The quarter deck hit, so I have to move straight. Can't change my sails unless I make a skill test. And then you got to finish moving him, and then it's my frigate's turn. It ends up there, close to the lay orient. Okay, so next up is my frigate. My frigate and sloop moved the frigate, since it has that gun deck hit, couldn't uh, shoot. Did you successfully do this? Uh, oh no, I didn't. He has to move well, 10. Roll that and he might have not uh, have been No, I, I failed it. So oh, you did? Oh, tilt well, him back. So He can. He's like that. So and then these are gone. So it's no gonna shooting. It's going to be a fire issue bears then, right? No, because I never turn enough to see him. I guess I could. I was going to yeah, say, because there's a straight line here. Yeah. Okay, so normally sixes. Four is for range, two is for fire she bears. So one or two. Hey, a critical. <laughs> so that's two damage plus, where is the d6 over there? Three. I don't remember three. I don't remember three either. <laughs> we keep getting it. We've got uh, two dice for wind. Let's see it. All right, so he's going to go, and we kind of go in this order again. So this guy is obviously going to sail off the table next turn. Um, Can I just pull anchor? Pull anchor? Yeah, or drop anchor. No. No? You're in the middle of the ocean. You don't know. It might be a um, shallow spot right there. We'll look it up. I don't think so. But <laughs> we can see. Uh, but you've, you've lost one ship. So far, so you're still okay. Even if he sails off, you'd still be okay till you had a third ship. Until you shoot my destroyer, third ship, that's almost dead. <laughs> all right. Oh, we got to take all the markers off. Then, then we're ready to start. Okay, here we go. So the brig is in the process of moving. That's at the end of its second move. Yes. Uh, no, third, the first move. And then. Um, no, that is. Second. That's the second move. Yeah, that's second. Okay, and then I'm going to fire at that guy, the third rate that's almost crippled. Yeah. See if I can hit him. So base six, it's going to be twos because of the range and I'm at full sails. Pew, pew. So, no, no hits. 
And then if you don't mind finishing moving him, so he's just going to go forward straight for his next for thing and then turn. He's up right there. Okay, next up, uh, fire guy. I'm going to try to... He auto-fails his fire. Because his crew is in. Right, so I can't put it out. D6 flames. D6 flames. Not that this will really do anything to you. Six. Six. Well, maybe. That frigate there is going to fire at your third raid, who is close to being crippled. Uh, because I am crippled, I'm uh, reducing my, my gun values by half rounding up. So in essence, I'm just losing one heavy die in this... Uh, in this scenario. So here we go. We're looking for just straight up sixes. So that's all hits. So that's going to be uh, six damage total. So and I, it's too far off to get a, a rake and I'm not within three for any extra damage. So it's just flat six extra. So the third rate, this guy has now taken 40 total damage points um, out of 74. So you are below half, so you are crippled. But you're not below testing to see if you surrender, because your surrender value is what? Like fortunately, my cripple means a lot more than your cripple. <laughs> yeah, you lose a lot of a lot of dice there. But um, and then he's done. So the victory's next. Let's see what what uh, she can do. The victory is going to unleash its guns for the second time this battle, firing at the Le Orient. <laughs> this surrendered ship is like freaking out as the victory is like firing all these cannonballs past it. There's <clears throat> there's not enough of that to kind of obscure me. Yeah, because uh, I'm like lined up with them. Yeah. So so you still see like more than 50% of my ship. Yeah. So there's not going to be any obscuring bonus for me. So that means you're just hitting me on sixes. Hopefully I can roll better than that first time. And Except you are getting... just out of carronade range, yeah. unfortunately. So it's really not that many. Yeah. <clears throat> Not a single critical. Not critical. Well, that's annoying. <laughs> so you did eight. I would trade all of those for a single critical. I'm sure you would. <laughs> eight damage. You monster. Surrendered frigate is just, sailing towards the Leorian. He's just together. shockingly good at evading he's just surrendered ship. He's just slowing down. So we're each going to roll a skill test. On a four up, we pass. Both of us have to fail for a collision to happen. Whew. I passed. passed. You passed. So you just... Uh, We're really... You for, just, you're like the slowest moving ship ever, somehow getting out of the way of this. And yeah. I'm slowing down, but then I'm like also... It's very... It doesn't make any sense. I know. I know. Okay. So he's activated. So next up, here's where these activated tokens come in, because as you swoop around, like, he would have been next, but he already went, is going to be your uh, crippled third rate. Yep. Okay. Okay, the third rate majestically sails forward as she's falling apart, unleashing unleashing a full broadside into my third rate. But you're crippled, so you're only throwing lots of dice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So like that only you being crippled got rid of one dice. Mine being crippled got rid of three dice. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So um, you're tossing that many dice. Yep. Uh, but you're hitting on eights. So, let's see what you do. Yay. <laughs> So we hit missed one. <laughs> Is that a six? Yeah. yeah, that's a six. Okay, so um, that's six damage, which doubles to 12. And he is done. Third rate's also going to fire at the Le Orient. Here we go. Um, I think you'd also need an eight. We're lighting you on fire. Okay. No. no. But you do uh, two damage. Two damage. Okay. And then the Le Orient's going to go next. It's your stupid little frigate in the way. And they'll evade. So the uh, Le Orient's going to drop down from battle to light sails. And I'm going to sail forward, but I'm going to hit the brig. I don't have enough to potentially hurl over it, but we need to make a collision test. So there you go. Now you get a plus one, so you pass on a three plus. And I pass on a four plus. So I pass, you pass. So I fall short, but I don't... Um, I don't go anywhere, and we don't collide, but I'm going to open fire at the victory and do the same thing that you did to me. Aha! The Leorant's going to fire here and here. He's going to be obscured. Uh, first thing here, long range, or not long range, but just at a carronade range. I'm just shooting this at the victory. 
base six, uh, base six to hit, and I think there's no other modifiers. So you ready for this? Yep. Cool. Okay, we got one critical, and so two heavy cannons and one light cannon and one critical, which is four. Uh, so you take five damage plus a four critical. Jake, you might not like this, but I'm firing here the obscured and the three inch close range, point blank range, cancel each other out. So I'm just hitting your frigate on a five. You ready for this? Yep. And we're doubling the damage, but looks like I'll throw away the sixes. So we don't get a lot of hits. I'm obscured, so don't you hit worse. Yeah, I know, but that oh. canceled out the uh, point blank range. So we did five. Oh, no, sorry. That's going to be five, eight, nine, ten. So we do 20 damage to him. And uh, then the, that guy's done. My uh, third rate is needs to roll to see if it can pass the skill test to be able to turn or change its sails. And he makes it. Third rate ended up there after successfully um, making that skill test for the quarter deck hit. He's going to fire into the stern of the um, Jake's third rate, but it's not enough to get a rake, and I'm not within three for close range, so I'm really not doing any extra damage in this shot. So uh, your base uh, six to hit, and there's no other modifiers. So here we go. So we do two, four, seven, eight. Eight damage. Plus a critical. Plus a critical, thank you. A four, which is quarter deck hit. Four is a crew hit. Quarter deck was so much better. <laughs> Little frigate right there is gonna fire at Le Orient. Two heavy guns, short range, so I think you're just hitting me on eights. Two hits. So normally that's four damage. For short range, it's double to eight. You're on your way to sinking the Le Orient. Sure, technically. Over there, my frigate kind of just swooped around. It's facing directly into the wind, but that's about all I could do to try to get him into the battle. So next turn he'll try to attack. Um, then this guy goes next, and he just sails and falls off the flat earth. No, we do not believe in the flat earth. But um, he you, does, and so he's <laughs> he's gone. Um, so there, there's that guy. <laughs> he believes in it. He's wrong, he's but, trying, it but, <laughs> but it happened. It's the power so he was right, of will but for, he's dead, for so him. he can't tell anybody. He can't tell anybody. <laughs> um, I don't know where to put this. <laughs> put him in your pile of shame. All right. I have one. <laughs> put him on the card. There you go. Uh, so that means two of your ships are down. We just need to kill one more to end the game. Uh, the only other ship that hasn't moved, I believe, is this guy and my brig. So if you want to go with him. Try to move his uh, frigate, but the frigate was facing the wind, so he may try to tack, which would have let him get out of there and keep moving, but he failed the roll, the skill test, so basically he moved five inches forward and becomes anchored. But as he does that, he's going to do a fire as she bears at Leorient at short range. Uh, you are crippled, so you're just throwing three dice, but you're hitting me on sixes. Are you ready? I hit you once. Once with the heavy gun. So that's going to be four damage. It went slow. Um, it's firing long range at uh, your third rate. I just need to do what one point of damage? I think to so. Cripple him. <laughs> so I'm firing two cannons. Well, he's already crippled. Basically, I need ones. No. Okay. And with that, that's the end of the turn. So we're ready to move on to turn. I think it's turn six. No wind change. So it looks like my little brig over there is going to go first. And then uh, then the victory. Made a big sweeping maneuver and ends up there. No shots though or anything. So looks like the victory's next. Victory move to light sails, right? Yep. Okay. And you're going to fire around the Le Orient? Yep. Okay, it's just uh, outside of eight inches. So you're going to need a six base. Um, 
four because of the concealment from the ship this time. I think that's it. So, ooh. good thing uh, you got a pretty terrible roll. <laughs> four, four damage. And uh, critical. This could be it. <sighs> the ye old crew hit. The flaming forget. Can I dis extinguish it? Distinguish it? Extinguish the fire on a 5 plus. Oh, yeah. No. Give me D6 damage. Can it please be the official name of this frigate? <laughs> it's the Flaming Frigate. The Flaming Frigate. Four. Four more damage. Okay. Done. It passed through that frigate. They didn't collide. They managed to avoid. But it did set my other frigate on fire and did four points of damage to it. Thanks a lot, Jake. <laughs> All right. It's called going according to plan. <laughs> uh, next up, it's going to be... Uh, looks like the that frigate finally comes to rest. Let's see if there's a collision. Whoa. Hey, there is a collision. Hey, it happened. What happened? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it finally happened. The frigate and the, uh, the Laorian collide. The uh, Laorian takes five points of damage, and the frigate takes sixteen points of damage, which is sinking. He was only on three. He can finally be put to rest. He can. He can take his white flag with him. Oh. Uh, I refuse. <laughs> and uh, that's it. So I believe. Hey, it's finally out of my way. I can shoot this. Uh, too bad he already went. Um, okay. I take a quarter deck hit. And I cannot shoot or initiate grapples. Okay. Wow. All right, so that's next. I can't tell who's, he's probably the next one. I forget there. So, um, you are anchored, so we gotta figure out what that does. You wouldn't have done it any less. Yeah. So, yeah, so you're shooting uh, short range at me. You are crippled, so it's less dice, but. Go ahead and roll it. And models have moved now. He is perfectly perpendicular, but I didn't get that shot originally oh, since yeah. you moved it. <laughs> I'm not going to be doing triple damage or whatever it is. And you need eights to hit me. The light mist. Okay. Any ones? Nope. Okay. So that looks like seven. So 14 damage. So 14 damage to Le Orient. Third rate sails alongside the uh, Le Orient, firing its Massive depleted amount of cannons. Four dice. <laughs> but you need uh, eight to hit. I still missed one. No criticals. Well, I caught one critical on this guy. Though. Six damage. You're within three, so that's going to double to 12 damage. Very nice. And then I think the next guy is going to be my third rate. Jake wanted to fire his heavy cannon before he moved, which would have been a fire issue. Yay! But it's a hit. Oh, and it's a critical. So that's going to be two damage plus whatever the critical roll is. Uh, four damage because I would be still close to you. So uh, close range. Uh, what's the critical? It is. Ah. Uh, two, which I forget what that is. I don't know. All right, next up is my uh, third rate over there. I think he's just going to um, anchor and turn so we can shoot at this guy. My third rate ends up there. He's going to fire at your third rate. Um, normally you're hit on sixes. It's going to be, I think it's just going to be sixes because you are um, not outside of ten inches. Okay, so here we go. We're just looking for sixes. Whew. So we've got three heavy, oh no, two heavy cannons. So that's four damage total. So you're below your morale value now, so you need to take a morale test right away. You are within 20 inches of the victory, so you get a plus one to your skill test. 
So uh, you need a four up to pass, or you strike your colors. Let's see if taking the victory was actually worth it. Yep. Has it well, been anything it's only going to be worth it if you roll a four. <laughs> well, exactly. <laughs> hey. I rolled a five. Screw you, victory. <laughs> <laughs> so he's gone, and then uh, I guess it's the sand turn. Yeah, he needs to get out of dodge here. The Lyorienta stays there, moves there. No shooting this turn because of the collision. Next up is that frigate that just got set on fire. So let's see if I can put out the fire before it burns me more. It's actually, the sloop first. Oh, that no, that sloop moved already. The sloop moved. Yep. Oh. He moved like all the way around. <sighs> hey, I put out the fire. So no damage for him. Basically, I'm going to try to make a skill test to attack because I'm facing the wind. Five up. No. So I become anchored. And so move me five inches and straighten and then I become anchored. So he ends up there anchored and then the last, oh no, this little guy needs to go and then that's it. So go ahead and move him. And that guy failed uh, trying to tack so he ends up right there and I think that's the end of the turn. So very interesting. So you've battered the lay orient i'm almost crippled if not crippled uh, i'll have to double check those numbers because we have to count really high for those ships yeah because uh, he is 120 hull um and then we'll uh, we'll go into turn i think this is seven we'll go into the next turn that was awesome. So, but look who gets to go first. He has so much to do. He does. Okay. No, he <laughs> On to the HMS victory. Okay. All right. I concede. All right. So, I think the game is pretty much going in the French's favor. Yeah. Um, my ships are going to be starting to turn around this turn and come back. Really, if when he goes, the game is over. Yeah. And we rolled to see what happened, but you did pass your morale, but eventually he's going to fail. Now, the thing is, though, the Laorian's almost crippled. And if you cripple her, even if you don't destroy her, you still get a lot of points off of her for the end battle. Yeah. Uh, considering I just blew up a, a frigate, or sank a frigate, made a brig run away, if I sank him, I'd probably still win heftily, but you would still have quite a few points if you cripple him. Yeah. Because he kind of got left behind in the swirl of the British ships. He got hit by the hit the brig, or, or almost collided with the brig, so I had to come up short, and then you kind of had three ships blasting at him for a turn. And then you hit the gun deck, and the collision meant he couldn't shoot last turn. Yeah. Or else well, he would have totally opened fire on And I feel turn. like he even got lucky, because he was, sure, three ships were shooting at him, but he never did more than, like, 12 damage at a time. Yeah. And these guys were both severely damaged already so they were throwing like pitiful dice if yeah. i had somewhat working ships i think he would probably be either dead or very close to death he'd be crippled yeah i mean you really only would have got one extra die here but a couple extra dice well, yeah but think about you all crippled. those multipliers and yeah it would have been extra nice dice and stuff like that and then my fleet's mostly over there uh all, all of my fleet's over there basically just trying to turn around my favorite part is this guy would definitely crash into this flaming ship again Duh. <laughs> And then he probably couldn't turn out of it, so he'd light him on fire, too. There would be quite a fire little ball over here. <laughs> Maybe. All right, um, well. But, yeah, it was a fun game. It's a lot of ships. It takes a lot of time. Um, but it was really fun. I, I agree with you in the critical factor. Mm -hmm. I think it's dumb. <laughs> because, yeah, the harder the shot gets, the easier or the more often criticals appear. Especially, like, it was very obvious when you shot my sloop. Because it's like you kind of whiffed on the sloop shot. Or not sloop, break, sorry. But you shot my brig. You did. You only did like five points of damage to him. But then you critical him four times, and he went yeah. fifteen inches off of the map from the center yeah. of the map. Yeah, the fact that like four ones mean, and I think I just needed ones to hit you. Yeah, four ones resulted in four criticals. Is just that's one hundred percent of all the shots are are critical. One hundred percent of the hits are critical hits, which is just kind of crazy. I think there should be a rule where it's like. If your shot is a ones and twos, so if it's a difficult shot, then you can either no longer get criticals or something like that. Cause or if you if weird. you hit, like if you hit with like a natural 
one, let's say, yeah. then roll a second die for the criti- to see if it's a critical or something like that. So that every hit um, of a one doesn't automatically do a critical. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe you'd have to up the, the odds a little bit more. But something like that so that the, They're a little too the odds aren't skewed yeah. so much. They're a little too frequent, and then I would even if they like if we dumbed it down so criticals were less of a thing, I would like to see the board tweaked even a bit because what is the one that like never worked? A uh, crew hit yeah. is really not that big of a deal ever. So like getting that crew one, it's like oh, unless you have something stacked on you and then you get it, sure it's bad. Yeah. But if you just get that one, it's like oh, I was never even critical. Yeah. So I would like to see maybe a tweak to that. Well, maybe I mean it, that is fairly useless but it did result in your ship surrendering you mean sailing off the end. oh yeah so no the other one oh yeah, yeah no and that was right i that was like but the that time was the right sequence it yeah. was useful yeah it has to like be perfectly lined up or otherwise because we did crew hit to each other like a million times and it was like nine out of ten of them were nothing useless yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's good if you're going to have critical hits that often to have a couple that aren't catastrophically bad yeah like the fire i could never put out on that guy uh, or... <laughs> <laughs> it's funny though too because he like he never died it never really impacted his ability to fight at all until just recently and you're already so far away it doesn't yeah, matter. I have to go back I don't know if you actually cannoned him much more than maybe a couple points no I hit him first and then he got behind me and I didn't hit him again yeah. so yeah, yeah that was just mainly fire damage to him yeah. but it is a little weird that there can be this massive fire and like right after there was a fire on a ship and you failed to put it out you did like 27 damage to another ship yeah. so it's, it's a little weird that like they're Still at 100% functionality from a fire. Well, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, We certainly did. Again, please do consider giving us a like and subscribe. Click that bell to receive notification when we release new content. Uh, Do check out our uh, membership so that you can get early access to battle reports and other videos that we make, as well as access to cool emojis and badges. All right, there you go. Thanks, everyone.